internet gives a whole new meaning to the unofficial freak shows. Lacking restriction, the World Wide Web is allowing people to search for and gaze at people with abnormalities and genetic conditions. With sites such as Rotten.com, people can openly comment, post photos and report on everyday occurrences in which they find freaky. Another site in which this same principle occurs is EncyclopediaDramatica.com, which was created with the apparent purpose of providing comprehensive reference-style parody to poke fun at everyone and everything on the internet. This site was discovered by chance when the words super cripple were entered into a search engine. When they say that they are poking fun, they are really meaning that they are dehumanising and discriminating against those who are, in their words, cripples or wheel tards. For example, under the subtitle Cripples in the Internet, it states the internet attracts lots of cripples. The reason, of course, being that it is their only form of social interaction because nobody talks to them. Cripples are one of the many groups that are ruining the internet by clogging our tubes with lame support group forums and online petitions for putting wheelchair ramps in front of every building in the world. This is not the only example of disabled people being exploited and used for humour purposes on the internet. On the popular website youtube.com, people are uploading videos under the titles of Fat Kids Beating Up a Crippled and The Best of Cripples Kung Fu. When people are given free range to upload videos, especially of the likes of these, they are promoting that it is okay to discriminate against those who are believed less fortunate and spread the stereotypical attitudes against these people that society has created. Some have gone as far as to create freak shows in order to gain attention to themselves within the public. Reporter Joel Horde wrote in the Michigan Daily after seeing the following two significant examples of modern day freak shows within the media. The first was when Darren Brown, an English psychological illusionist, broadcasted his show where he played the game of Russian roulette. A randomly selected viewer was asked to put a single shot in the revolver, whereafter Brown aimed it at his head, firing four empty rounds before firing the fifth into a sandbag. 12,000 people applied to be chosen to decide the positioning and the placement of the single shot. The second was when the controversial American rock band, Hell on Earth, planned on having a terminally ill fan commit suicide on stage during the band's show in Florida, USA. Officials stepped in to prevent the show from airing. Horde added thoughtfully at the end of his article, Publicity stunts or not, these two events illustrate the perverse heights to which modern day freaks are willing to go. Bearded ladies and sword swallowers just can't cut it anymore. Pretty soon, if people aren't actually dying, we won't be watching. People are mainly focused towards a disabled person's lack of ability rather than their abilities or successes, especially when they're spotlighted in the media. There was an interview conducted with a US Open ball girl who had a prosthetic leg. The interviewer, instead of asking her about the marathon she had run, asked her about the complications involved in being an athlete with a disability focusing the audience towards her prosthetic leg. He asked questions such as, what do you have there and tell me how long you have had a prosthesis for your leg? And how challenging is it to do something like that and something like this with this on? The media portrays images that seem to reinforce the common assumptions that persons with disabilities are helpless and needy people. The Courier-Mail printed a story about intolerance towards those with physical disorders in which the writer Mark Shearer compares his friend with a disability to the little girl Suna from a 1975 film called A Girl Named Suna. A scene in which he refers to involves a young girl and her pet crow that cannot walk. After the children at school admire the bird, they begin to throw stones at it. 
thinking it was funny to see it hop away. Although completely overwhelmed, the girl throws a stone, wanting to fit in. Shearer states that his friend is both like the black crow and the girl, being both stoned and giving in to the social norm and throwing the stones himself. Shearer's friend is what he calls a survivor. A survivor of the predators who put him in his place on the edge of society. A survivor of those, like us, who are constantly striving and trying to fit in, bound by our own standards and stereotypes. We need to develop a disability consciousness that allows us to reimagine disability in ways that value individual identity.